Okay, welcome back to Shaving Down Under. I'm Doug, and it is a Friday. And as you can see behind me there, I've got my two Brighton shirts, and we've got a, an exciting signing coming into the club in the last couple of days. We'll talk about in a minute. But what we're really here for is a shave. And um, today, we're going to shave with this soap, Finlandia. Now this has been made by a Finnish artisan uh, by the name of uh, Gizmo Anderson or Gizmo or Gizmo. Well, I'm not sure of the pronunciation of his first name, but he's done this soap in dedication to Finland and, um, and obviously of its um, sense. What we are also going to team that up with today is this little bad boy. I've had, I've got quite a few of these now. I've had a bit of an addiction. I've, I'm going to have to offload a few. But this is the 1953 British aristocrat. There it is there. Pull it back a bit, see if we can get a better focus on top. So it's quite a clean little unit. Opens up beautifully, you can have a look inside. No idea if this has been used or not. Real hard to tell. The case has got a lot of wear and tear on it. Um, but yeah, the the razor looks fine, to be honest with you. It's, uh, as I said, a 1953, a number 66, apparently. And there was the Coronation Edition, which had a crown just printed about here. And now I can't see any remnants of a printed crown there. Then again, you can hardly even see Gillette was printed there either. So one thing I have noticed and very highly unlikely to be able to see this on this side there's two eyes or like in two as in world war ii just printed in there i did read somewhere and i'm not convinced about it but they said that the the two represented uh, queen elizabeth the, the second but I haven't read anywhere else to back that up. So if you're out there watching this uh, video and you have some information about this razor, um, drop a comment. Yeah, it'd be very interesting. Um, so in the blade uh, dispenser holder, take that out, put this to one side. Uh, that looks wild, I reckon. And I've got aristocrat blades in there. And I know that's not uh, period correct, but I think British, you know, aristocrat blades should be in with an aristocrat razor. So I'm going to shave with them today as well. Now let's see if she just slides out for us. Oh, you're doing the right thing by me. Let's see if I'll put it this way. Nice, that should be enough. Hopefully. That's oh, hard to juggle this. Well, that didn't work out as planned, but there you go. Beautiful blade. Not much on there at all, just the arrows. But a cracker of a shave with these blades. All right, let's um, get into it a bit. This smells lovely. There it is. There, probably a bit of an un unappealing sort of look to it, but let me tell you. So it. 
The scent profile for this is orange, fennel and finished fruits. And I can tell you, you can smell the fennel. Now I showed this to my partner last night and I said to her, give this a sniff because I like letting her smell them and get her opinion. And, and her reply was excellent. She, you know those licorice all sorts? The little cubes of the layered uh, licorice and um, lolly between it. I can't think of a or candy or whatever, a, a proper description, but they're different color. You get black, white, pink. I think they're about a three different colors. White, pinks, maybe some other color. This stuff smells exactly like a bag full of them. So it's it's got that licorice scent with a with a sweetness in there, which you know it's coming from maybe the finished fruits. Not really getting the orange myself, but that's just me and you know my schnoz has taken a few whacks over the years, so no authority on scents at all. Okay. It's got a nice understated lather. Work this lather up on my face, I think. Ah, this is much better. Compared to last Monday's show, oh, this is coming up a beast. What a beautiful lather this is. Okay, so I've never shaved with this, so away we go. So the, just off the bat, that first stroke or two, you could feel the blade a little bit more than my American aristocrat but also with the soap it quickly offered a lot of cushioning and slickness I'm telling you people right now this is a top notch Top notch soap. Top shelf indeed. It's a really good feeling just knowing straight away you've got a, a beautiful soap on your on your face. Just had a panic moment there. Is it recording? <laughs> As you, if you followed a few of my videos, you will know that I really like vintage blades and I really love these aristocrat blades.
as I've said a few times before, and I'll keep saying this, I really believe there's a good reason why these blades only had a, a short space of time on the market. And that is, I think they made them too good. Far too good. It's um, no secret that Gillette made their fortune out of selling razor blades. And if you've got a razor blade that's going to give you 10 plus shaves, well, that's uh, from a business point of view, is probably not really what you want. This stuff smells great. So the first pass was really good. As I said, these blades are excellent. These aristocrat blades. And If I was in a hurry to get somewhere, that first pass would have been enough. Without doubt. God, this is a good lather. Finland smells like this. I want to go. Well, not that we can go anywhere at the moment, but it's a nice thought. So the Brighton shirts, the lion from South Africa, Percy Tower, he's finally landed in England and is now training with the squad, been watching some highlight reels, looks like a bloke has got the potential to make a mark, of course he's not going to be a superstar in the EPL. Unless that faster pace really agrees with his gameplay, he does seem like a smart player. But I think he's got a little bit of what it takes. And all he's got to do is help us stay up, because we're in a not a very good position at all on the league table. So yeah, I'm very excited. Because he's been playing in mainland Europe, he's fit already. It shouldn't take long for him to get into the side. And I'd say he'd come in off the bench to start with. I think he'll work well with Bailana and uh, Danny Welbeck. So although those two blokes are a little bit older, when they're out there, you can see the class of them, you know, they've still got it. And sometimes the players around them, like, you know, they've come from Man U and uh, Liverpool, you know, and they're used to being around players that are switched on when they're on the pitch. They, they're ready for that little back pass or quick flick out the side, you know, the, or the one-two. So I think a few of our forwards, our strikers are, yeah, not quite as switched on. I 
Ooh, we'll just freshen up this soap. Did have a phone call, so I had to break the shave up. Well, I've got a nick there, just the soap got a bit dry. I just can't seem to get it. So I can tell you with the soap, it leaves a lot of slickness behind. It has a lot of cushioning.
Para aqui. Both sides. I know Sinatra Lennon has the same spot, misses a little bit. Speaking of Sinatra Lennon, keep an eye out for his next couple of videos because I did send him a uh, one of the, the same Barbasol that video uh, chewed that I did in the video and he is a Barbasol uh, fanatic and he's going to do a shave with the same soap and compare it to the 1950s tube of Barbasol he's got so keep your eye out for that it should be um, entertaining and interesting Well, in the end, I got there, had the phone call really interrupted my shave. Um, I'm blaming that for the nicks, because my face really dried out and I had to get it going again. But otherwise, where are we? This stuff's really good. The sad thing is it's sold out, and I bought it from the Pantaray website, and they've got a lot of you know, they've got some really um, arty um, brushes. Oh, someone's home. And, and they've got a lot of different shave soaps that, you know, you just don't see on the regular market. There is another one by this guy on, in the range. I think it's still in stock, but this is definitely sold out. But if it comes back on the market, grab it. It's a great, great soap. Um... Fantastic. I'll be using this again all next week. I'm really happy with it. And it looks really cool. Um, okay. We'll see you soon. See you on Friday. Uh, no, next Monday, sorry. See you then. Ciao for now.